meet Ambika Anand. With a passion for fashion, this diva is a style guru and inspiration for many young girls and boys with big dreams. And she's certainly a reliable guide if you're looking to take a break for some retail therapy. Shopaholics, behold! Ambika will show you how it's not just about what goes into your shopping bag, but also about what goes up in your holiday album. So be prepared for experiences of a lifetime on Dubai Diaries. Do it big, do it right, do it in style. If that's your mantra, then join me on my super stylish journey. From the established fashion powerhouses to emerging new designers, they're all writing down the runway in the fashion oasis of the Middle East, Dubai. This is the last and final chapter of the Dubai Diaries and I assure you, this will be the most stylish. Dubai tops the charts for anyone and everyone who indulges in retail therapy. The evidence, retail and wholesale is one of the most important contributors to the Emirates economy. Dubai is bejeweled with almost 80 malls in a 4,000 square kilometer area and they are all thriving. A dream for those who love everything trendy and the perfect spot to light in your wallet if you have a taste for the finer things in life. I am prepared to shop for some of my favorite bags, shoes, clothes, makeup. Well, pretty much everything to pamper myself from head to toe. And there's no way I'm leaving this city without hitting the Dubai Shopping Festival, the perfect playground for shopaholics like me. I'm going to hop from the biggest labels from across the globe, across the spectrum, to some very unique local talent. Along with all that retail therapy, there's therapy for my soul too. The one thing I would not miss on a holiday, an indulgent meal. And more shopping, not for things, but for the best experience. Dubai loves its opulence and wears it on its sleeve. So I begin writing this chapter of Dubai Diaries from the world's biggest mall, the Dubai Mall. Part of the $20 billion downtown complex, Dubai Mall gives you 1,200 shops to stroll around. Home to some of the world's most innovative young designers, discerning shoppers and stylish locals. From hot brands to exciting events and cool innovations, all under one roof. I'm at the fashion powerhouse of Dubai Bloomingdale's. It's the only store outside of America with over 800 brands under one roof. I feel like a kid in a candy store and that ought to be ample motivation for you to come here. Let's begin with every girl's essential style statement. Bags. I am going to pick my favourites and I will tell you why. I'm sure you have lots of serious bags. I think it's time to expand your bag portfolio. Uh, I quite love this bag. It's really witty and cool. And it has two handles, so this gives it a slightly formal appearance. And if you pull out the longer one, it makes for a great shopping bag. Another big trend this season is the bucket bag. It's fun, it's cute. You can use it in the day to work for a brunch. You know what, this bag really reminds me of the portly bag we have in India, which we carry to a wedding. Almost all major fashion brands have reinvented the very old, boring and traditional backpack and made it fun and hashtag fashion must have of the season. These bags are made with lots of uh, interesting elements, including, I think, mother of pearl and wood. It's like a piece of jewelry, the beautiful. I want them all. From bags to clothes, this is just the beginning. I love this jumpsuit. I think it would work well for an office situation or even a brunch. 
Well, these dresses behind me have been designed by UAE-based designer Korhamda Al Fahim. Uh, I think it's always wonderful to pick up locally designed and manufactured clothes wherever you might be traveling to. What can be more fun than shopping for clothes? Shopping for some makeup, and I bet every girl can vouch for that. I love the beauty section here. There are several brands available. Uh, what's comforting is that you can sit back, relax, and figure out what products actually work for you. And to help me decode Dubai fashion, I have with me Kavita Srinivasan. She is the editor of Hello Indo Arabia. Kavita, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Ambika. It's such a pleasure to meet you and to walk you through the Dubai fashion scene. I am very excited. So, for all our viewers, how would you define Dubai fashion? Well, you know, the thing with Dubai fashion is if you walk around, women in Dubai are impeccably groomed. Their hair is always done. They're always in the latest trends. It's just very glamorous and very on trend. So um, Dubai is at the cutting edge of the fashion world. And is there any particular uh, trend that they follow in terms of uh, makeup, clothes, handbags, shoes? Well, I mean, everybody has a different style, but bigger the better, more glamorous the better, making a statement. There's nothing casual about Dubai. So beautiful, big hair, uh, big eyes, lots of makeup. You'll see high heels. Women don't walk around in flats and trainers very much. They like their stilettos. Women make an effort on themselves, much more than any other part of the world that I've been in. To all the Indians who are watching, <laughs> what do you reckon ought to be in their shopping list when they come here? I would say shop what you can't get in India. Get to the small high street stores, get to the multi-brand stores. Thank you so much, Kavita, for your time. And a big congratulations to you for your baby. Yes, thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Wow, that was some insight into the amazing world of Dubai. And if you, like me, believe that shoes speak louder than words, then get ready to get further amazed. My next stop is the largest luxury shoe store in the world, Level Shoe District. It's so massive that it's less a store and more like a whole district. I'm at the Level Shoe District. It's the world's largest concept store for shoes with over 250 brands to be found here. I'm in the contemporary section looking for a statement pair. Level 2 District is a not-to-be-missed destination on the fashion's global map with 96,000 square feet. The concept store is the leading footwear destination in the world. I think this pair is an absolute conversation starter. It can work with a pair of jeans, a pair of pencil pants, or even a hot dress. So I love this pair. It's designed by a gentleman who's in his early 20s. I think this pair is extremely fun and edgy. Am I done with my shoe shopping yet? Not quite. The last pair is coming up. Can I see those, please? So if you're into the sneaker culture, you would love this pair. It's uh, made by an Italian brand called Buscemi. It's fairly young. I really like this pair. It has a key that opens the lock at the back. Uh, it's very cool and it has a little veg heel inside to give you the extra height. A good pair of shoes take you to good places. Right now, it translates to soul therapy. A soul lounge in the middle of a mall for your tired feet. What an incredible idea. My feet feel incredibly relaxed. My hands are gearing up for some more shopping and uh, this gadget around me is making sure I get fresh inflow of 100% oxygen so I can shop more with a clear mind and a healthy body. I love shopping in Dubai. Well, besides some of the biggest brands, the mall also houses the world's biggest sweet shop. I 
love mix. Thank you. That's the most sour of our candy. Imagine 10,000 square feet of pure sweet goodness. The Buy Mall is like Wonderland. Once you are in, you have no idea when you're getting out. But if you want to see an even bigger spectacle, then make sure you time your travel with the Dubai Shopping Festival. The Dubai Mall recorded more than 5 million visitors in 2010 during the one month long Dubai Shopping Festival, setting an all time record in visitor footfall and continued to hold the title of world's most visited shopping and leisure destination in the world. Well, I'll tell you, out of every city I've ever been to in the world, Dubai has set the standard of luxury. And, and I think that's at every level. So whether you are shopping, enjoying a hospitality side from hotels, and even travel, um, Dubai has really set the standards for giving amazing service and really giving you that ultimate experience. This is the place where luxury starts and finishes. <laughs> So while I hang around a little while longer, why don't you take a short break and come back to Dubai Diaries for the new stars that are shining in the local fashion scene. Everything about your trip is super stylish. I have a one point agenda to look for fashion trends. It's going to be a power pack day, and to get started, I need a power pack breakfast. Since fashion is in the air, why shouldn't my breakfast follow suit? To create something exceptional, your mindset must be relentlessly focused on the smallest detail. And the detailing in Dubai's fashion scene lies in homegrown talent. This is Bamba. The decor here is more classic, floral and feminine. And the clothes have an old world charm. Little wonder then that they are christened Vintage Reconstructed. The driving force behind Dubai's first and only high-end vintage boutique, Bamba, is Maha Abdul Rashid. An inspiration for fashion influencers from around the world. In her collection, Maha brings out beautiful detailing, bold fabric choices and exquisite shapes that accentuate the female body. The clothes at Bamba are extremely well tailored and flattering making playing dress up oodles of fun. This is the wittier and edgier section called Zoo. It's a unisex section. If you're wondering what I mean by wit, take a look at this guy. It is witty, right? From quirky designs to cool new districts, Dubai continues to innovate and pleasantly surprise. Dubai has a booming fashion scene. Whatever might be on your checklist, you would find it here for sure. Now it's time for my last stop and that is Box Park. Along with neighbouring City Walk, these fashion streets are a great change from the malls. With bright and funky containers as a prominent urban landscape, this offbeat outdoor concept has the perfect selection of unique retail experiences and unique dining for Dubai's eclectic community and travellers. And to make the most of my visit to Box Park, I am meeting a friend who's going to help me get around. How are you? 
up. This is my friend Yovita. She's also a Dubai resident and she is going to tell us more about the fabulous Box Park. Well, Box Park has just opened, so you're one of the first to see it. Mm. Lucky me. Lucky you. So it offers something a bit quirky, a bit edgy, a little bit more modern, which would appeal to someone like you. Because I'm sure you've seen quite a few malls recently, right? Lots of them, yeah. So now we are in the outdoors, we can breathe in the fresh air, and all we see is modern, urban kind of stuff. It's not something you'll find in a mall, but it will give you a slightly different experience. So, uh, Yovita, you are originally from New Zealand. You're yeah. an expat in Dubai. Uh, we have dedicated this episode to shopping. So do educate our viewers. Uh, what is in the wardrobe of an expat in Dubai? Summer dresses? summer sandals and a light jumper. That is all you need for Dubai. Okay, and do you feel pressure to be ready here all the time to look absolutely perfect because everybody is uh, prim and proper? Yes, you do. But one of the things I love about Dubai is that you can wear your heels at any time. All the surfaces are flat. There's no cobblestones, there's no potholes. It's just very easy to walk in. And as an expat here, where do you go and shop? I live around the corner from Dubai Mall, so that is my local. But when I can, I try and get outside. So I try and do the boutiques on Jumeirah Road or Box Park or a little bit further, so Mall of the Emirates. Uh, so where have you made our reservation? Just over there. At that restaurant? Yeah. Great, come, let's go. Friends, what an awesome trip it's been. With that, I close the last and final chapter of the Dubai Diaries. Good night. There's never an end to what you can do in Dubai. You can shop for the best experiences in the world. That's up next after a short break on Dubai Diaries. Dubai, there's a reason why this city is a hot favorite with celebrities from around the world. Be it Hollywood or our very own Bollywood. Industrialists, politicians, sports stars, top models and designers. They all descend on Dubai for a comfortable, luxurious shopping trip. This city can pamper you no end. This year, nine of us have been looking at Dubai from our unique point of views. From the wondrous to the delicious, from the adventurous to the stylish. Here's a quick look back at some of our best experiences on Dubai Diaries. While Dubai has become synonymous with shopping and it's a fact that you really can shop till you drop, there are also experiences you can take back home with you and have memories of a lifetime. You know, I think if I look any harder, I can see home and go like, Hi, Ma! <laughs> this city's ever-growing skyline with skyscrapers kissing the sky and ground up is not the only way to get that incredible view. If you are looking for experiences that will give you an adrenaline rush, then Dubai is the place for some of the best highs. How was that? That was so awesome! It's beautiful up there. I love how Dubai looks from up there. There were just clouds up there. I could see nothing, no building, no desert clouds. And then you go through and then you see this vast expanse. And oh my God, we had such fun, even with the shoot. Yes, pulling right, woo, pulling left, woo. I have personally loved every minute of my stay here, but what definitely tops the list of experiences was my visit to the fabled Gold Souk. It glitters brighter than you can imagine and truly lives up to its reputation. So why do you like this store? Who needs clothes when you have jewellery like this? Seriously, these are statement pieces. 
right? You can have the most understated outfit and just a strong piece of jewelry. Well, this is like playing dress up Dubai style. And most of all, I have loved the people I've met here. And you can do it all in style. It's elegant, sophisticated, stylish. That's why I dressed up. I can see why it's award winning. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Bon appetit to me. And done. On top of the tallest star or floating in a luxury cruise, the dining experiences will put you on top of the world. This is, in true sense, fine dining in Dubai. But what's even more mind-boggling, the sheer variety of food in this city. Here in Dubai, Fridays are the new Sundays. Because here, the weekend is Friday and Saturday. That's why, instead of Sunday brunches, you have Friday brunches. The Friday brunch is an experience not to be missed when in Dubai. Even though Friday comes around only once a week, one brunch on a Friday is never enough. You can experience feeling like a star. Bond. James Bond. Like a king in Dubai. And you can bid adieu with an experience of taking a flight of fantasy. In one of the world's largest hot air balloons, right now we're flying over the Dubai Desert Conservation Reserve. And these views. They're just spectacular. If there's an experience you want in life, Dubai has it on offer. Here are the top shopping attractions of Dubai for your next holiday.